Welcome to Pixel Composer tutorial and in this tutorial I will show you how to use Armature node in Pixel Composer. So Armature or Skeletal Animation is a way for you to use Bone to control your animation. So let's begin by importing in a sample project that I drawn in Asprite. Just a normal characters. You can see here it has four different layers and then we can select use cell dimension and then press generate. And now we will be generating each layer as a node. Now I am on version 1.15, release candidate 4 at the moment. If you want to follow this video, you might want to use this version or above, preferably the stable version, because there is a bug in the previous version that prevented it from working properly. But here, when you go to Compose Category, in Armature Group, you will see the node that related to Armature. The simplest way to just begin using Armature is just to use node action, which is another new feature introduces. Clicking on it, it's just gonna build, set up all the nodes required. And the node related to our armature is the armature create. This one is used to create the bone. And armature post that used to post or you know move the bone around. And the bind node that will bind the surface to the bone. So let's preview our final image here. And then we will click once on the armature create to bring up all the tool we need. And then we click on add bone. The first bone you have to add is what we call a root bone, which should just be separate from the body itself. Because you cannot start your root bone with branch. So you have to branch out from the root bone. And then you can just click and drag from the bone ends to branch out a new bone to build all the body, the head, the arm, etc. You will go to the inspector area here. We will rename our bone properly. And when you hover on the bone, you will see that it will also highlight the corresponding bone as well, which help you know which bone you are editing. Now go to the armature bind. You can simply connect the surface into the input but as you can see right now, you nothing happens because we have surface here, we haven't bound it to the bone yet. So you can click on the button we call it hamburger icon and drag your surface to the bone you want to bind. So this is a head surface, so bind to head. This is a body, so bind to body. We want to arm and legs. Now you can see that your surface is now getting attached to the bone. You can also move the surface around. And now when you go to armature post, you can now click and drag on the bone to rotate it around. Each of the bone will become its own input, so you can animate each value as you want. Right, and now you can create simple skeletal based animation. In the armature bind, you can also move the bone, transform the bone as you want. You can also scale the bone if you create a bone that are too big or too small. Now we call we separate each operation into its node. You can also create multiple posts just by creating new post node. We can have a different animation. And then you can connect it to a new bind node. Now instead of connecting each of the surface to the bind node again, you can just reuse the bind information from this node by using this bind data output. You just click and drag it. And now you will have all the surface information without having to reconnect everything. Now the next thing that you may already notice is that when you scale the bone, the surface doesn't scale with it. It just scales the distance between each surface. And that's because when you open this surface group, you will see there's different option here. In each surface, there is this transformation that you use to move your surface around. But there's also inherent rotation and inherent scale. So the inherent rotation means that your surface will rotate along with your bone. If you disable this and then you rotate the bone, you will see that your head will now not rotate with the bone. It will just move around. But if you enable inherent rotation, then your head will now rotate with the bone itself. The next option is inherit scale. So like I said, when you scale the bone, the surface doesn't get scale. But if you toggle on inherit scale, and then you go to the post node, and then modify the scale by moving the end of the bone around, you will see that the surface will also be scaled with the bone. The next topic I will go through is the topic of inverse kinematic or IK. So normally when you want to post the node, you have to rotate it one by one. But what if you want to control the bone by using the destination? So you want this bone to move itself, to pull itself, to reach some point, then you can do that by using the inverse kinematic. So we go to the armature create node, and you will see here you will have the IK2. So click on the two, and now you click and hold on the last bone that you want to control. And while holding your left click, you just drag it to the parent of the first node you want to control. And then you release your mouse, you will see we have this new IK controller. In the inspector here, it said the new IK handle, and it's gonna handle this two bone. Now when you go to post, you will see that you can now move the IK controller around, and the bone will adjust itself to reach the destination. 
So when you use inverse kinematics, sometimes you will notice that your bone may jump around, swap direction back and forth like this. And we can fix that by going to the inspector and check on the rotation. You can try to rotate it to flip the direction around and you can animate that to make your animation look more smooth. And the last topic will be about bone inheritance. In this example, we have a parent bone and a child bone. When you rotate the parent bone, the child bone will also be rotated. But what if you want the child bone to keep its own rotation? Maybe you have like, well, in this case we have grapes, but maybe you want the character to hold a cup of coffee and you don't want that cup of coffee to rotate around with this arm. Then you can go to this armature create node. And in the bone section, you will see that after the name of each bone, there are two extra icons. It says apply scale or apply rotation. So if you just click on apply rotation, so now it become red. Now when you rotate your parent bone, your child bone will now not be rotated. So it's just gonna keep its own rotation. And this is different from when you set like a pie rotation to the armature bind because when you add more children after the child, you will see that those children will also not be rotated with the parent as well. And the same thing can be done with scale because by default, when you scale the parent, you would also scale the child as well. But if you go to armature create and then click on apply scale, make it red. Now when you scale the parent, the children bone will not be scaled. So that's the end of an armature tutorial. Now the reason that I put this video off for quite a while because this system are still fairly recent and there is new change coming every version. And even in this version it might not even be the final one. If you have some suggestion or question, you can come visit me in the official Discord server, link will be in the description. But for now, this is all for Armature Node. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.